As a young man, Vain Rulius is a shy and timid boy. But now, as a student in one of the world's most premier magical academies, he will have to become much more. He'll need friends and allies and the skills necessary to master the ancient mystical arts if he hopes to become one of the world's most famous alchemists. Menachemia is a JRPG where you take the role of Vane, a young boy who's a student at a magical academy. Like most JRPGs, over the course of the game you'll be exploring dungeons, fighting monsters, and accumulating experience and materials that you need to level up. Now because of the whole school setting, the contextualization here is that you're actually going to classes, getting sent on field trips by teachers, and meeting new people as part of your study group. Now, because Manichemia is a spiritual successor to the Atelier series, a big part of the game's design is involved with alchemy. There is a massive crafting system that takes up a huge portion of the game, and a lot of your field trips to the various dungeons and uh, environs around the school are specifically so that you can gather materials and take them back to your Atelier and then craft them into useful items like swords or armor or healing potions. Now, as you play through the game, it progresses in a very predictable way. You will meet new characters that will be added to your party. You will unlock new dungeons that will be full of terrible beasts and monsters. You will learn new recipes that will allow you to alchemize new items. None of this is very surprising, but what separates Manichemia from its contemporaries and even other games in this series is its phenomenally excellent pacing. Now, what do I mean by that, by pacing? Well, I mean that the game's design, all of its interlocking mechanical systems, are introduced in a very natural way over the entire course of the game. As you play, you're never overwhelmed and you're never underprepared. A good example of this is the synergy the game has between crafting and combat. Like most games of its type, Manichemia features a system where after you defeat monsters in combat, you're able to harvest various scales and bones and other viscera and take them back to your workshop where you can alchemize them into new weapons and armor. It also has a system where each character has a skill tree, and by spending experience points along the different nodes in the skill tree, you unlock new powers and abilities. Now the key here is that your skill tree only unlocks when you create new items in your workshop. And this creates a very simple feedback loop between crafting and combat. You want to fight new monsters. New monsters mean new materials that you can take back to your workshop in order to craft new items. New items mean new skills get unlocked, which of course allows you to fight tougher monsters down the road. Now sure, a lot of games have both crafting and combat systems. But, Manichemia is one of the very few to create a direct link between those two systems, and that encourages you to fully explore both of them over the course of the game. Another good example is the combat system. It's standard turn-based combat with an action bar at the top to tell you whose turn it is and whose turn is coming up. At the start of the game, you've only got three characters and limited options between attack, defend, or use items. However, as things progress, new tactics start to unlock for you. You'll start unlocking the ability to affect an enemy's turn order or add extra attacks to the action bar. As you gain new characters, you'll be able to choose your party members and then later on swap them in and out during combat. And once you're comfortable with that, the game starts introducing charge attacks and combo attacks and defensive combos. Each system building off of the previous systems in a very fluid way. By the end of the game, you're managing six different characters, each with their own different special abilities, and it all feels completely natural. The game's excellent pacing even extends to the alchemy system, which can normally be one of the most aggravating parts of these kind of games. You see, normally in a game with a large crafting system like this, there's a lot of 
backtracking involved when you have to go back to previous dungeons and grind through monsters in order to get all of the materials that you require. And yet, Manichemia actually found a way to smooth out even this inconvenience. Essentially, you're able to give tasks to your other party members during their downtime, and you can tell them to go out into a dungeon and just gather some extra materials for you, or stay in the alchemy lab and synthesize some basic ingredients. Now, while this won't solve all of your problems, you will have to do some backtracking, especially if you're trying to get some higher level items. It reduces it by a lot, leaving you more time to just do what you wanted to do in the first place. Just play the game. Now, I, d I don't want to imply that pacing is Manichemia's only redeeming feature. There's still a lot to like, even beyond that. Combat is really solid. There are a lot of uh, quests to complete and items to collect. The aesthetics, well, the aesthetics are a little weird. It's, it's 3D backgrounds, but using almost entirely 2D sprites and assets. It, it does take a little while to get used to, but during combat, they do switch back to classic 2D. For the story, most of it is taken up with just attending classes and going through school life, although there are half a dozen party members that you can talk to on the side. Now, your mileage might vary on that last part, but you know what? If you don't want to talk to these people, you don't have to. Outside of story missions, you can pretty much completely ignore them and just go about your business. So yeah, Manichemia is quite good. One of the best in the Atelier series and one of the better JRPGs of its generation. I would give Manichemia 4 out of 4 stars. As for a recommendation though, that's a little more tricky. If you like JRPGs, then yeah, you could probably check it out. But you must also like crafting systems. There's, there's no either or with this one. Alright, thanks for listening. Till next time.